All right, what's going on guys? Continuing from the last video, I'm getting into delivering this hickory and this cherry. I ended up bringing this load to one person and then I had another load in another location that I took to somebody else. So I got two good deliveries in today. So enjoy the video. So the night before it had rained quite a bit and it made the area that I was going to load in pretty sloshy and wet. So I didn't end up getting the trailer completely backed up to my wood pile, but it was alright. I ended up getting it close enough and I got it loaded up. Yeah, definitely by the time I was getting towards the end of this rig, I was definitely feeling in my shoulders and arms that I had parked further away. Made me have to heave and hoe it a little bit harder to get it to the trailer, but oh well, I got a little bit of a workout in and I eventually got it loaded up. After I got the load completely loaded up, I noticed that I might have been a little under two rig, so I decided to go over to this dead locust pile and throw a couple extra pieces in. It ended up squaring the load up nicely, and everybody loves burning dead locusts. very thankful to call southern indiana my home we get to experience all four seasons and while some people don't like the winter i really enjoy it it allows me to deliver some firewood and just see some of the awesome scenery I was taking my brand new pair of chore muck boots for their maiden voyage today and I realized that they're not a very good boot to work in. My feet were sweating like crazy but thankfully I really knew the person that I was delivering to and they let me take my socks off in their kitchen, put them underneath their stove, and dry them out a little bit. Then after a couple minutes of good conversation and some quality sock drying, my socks were ready to roll and I was on to the next delivery. Guess old habits die hard as I pull out my seventh grade basketball jump shot follow through and I'm on to the next rig. As you can see I got the trailer about as close as I can to the ricks there. If you're new to delivering firewood then this is a good way to get your loads loaded quicker and it's less wear and tear in your body.
As you can see, the IC trailer was working against me today. But I'm about to pull off a new feat that you've never seen before in firewood delivering history. And you gotta give me a like and a subscribe for it, because it's totally awesome. And now I'm not talking about the old throwing the wood up the knock it loose trick. Of course that move was slick enough that I had to replay it, and I'm officially adding trailer surfing to my firewood delivery arsenal. And this part of the video is the part where the fine wine section of the title comes in. After I got paid for the delivery, the guy gave me a bottle of his homemade wine and let me have some. As you can probably see, I don't drink wine that often, and I didn't even know how to open up a bottle. But I ended up figuring it out after I used a little bit of Google. So my problem was that I had put in a little swirly thing, aka the worm, too far deep into the cork. And I didn't use the handle as a little lever to get it levered up. Eventually I got it figured out, and I busted out a wine glass and tried it. <laughs> I saw a video on Twitter one time of an Italian man twisting the wine around like this and smelling it. I don't even know if that did anything, but the wine ended up tasting pretty good, and uh, I'm drinking a glass right now as I'm at it in this video. Alright, cheers everybody. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, have a good one.